today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Artbotic subscription box service. With Artbotic, you can receive autographed prints, t-shirts, and more every three months. This is not actually a monthly service. This is one that comes every three months. If you are interested in subscribing to Artbotic, click the link down below and subscribe today. That being said, let's reach off camera. I'm gonna grab myself my knife and we're gonna cut this open. Find out what we got inside from the folks over at Artbotic. Now again, this is gonna be autographed prints, t-shirts, and more showcasing some up and coming indie artists, which is really super cool. Inside an Artbotic exclusive, we got ourselves a thank you card. Please use hashtag Artbotic box when sharing photos on social media so that we can find them and share them too. This box was packed with loving care by Albert. Good old Albert. On the back, uh, the July 2015 box. I don't know if this is actually the July box. Well, I guess that's technically correct if it's a couple, if it's about three months or so. But we're gonna put that card to the side. This may or may not tell us what's gonna be inside. I'm just gonna put that to the side, however. We've got ourselves some stickers. Artbotic, a couple of square stickers. I like that. And we've got I believe these could be the artists. We have Nakano, and I, I do apologize if Spot mispronounces his name. It does have his Instagram link at uh, Nakano, Nakano, Nakanor, uh, and then V I I. So it says Nakano Aquino the seventh is quickly establishing himself as one of Washington D.C.'s promising artists or uh, artistic talents to watch. Nicanor has no formal training behind him, but has quickly garnering buzz with his unique approach on painting iconic brands and cartoon characters. He has worked in conjunction with S&R Foundation, where they have created surreal themed painting for auction. In February of 2015, he was chosen to be one of the 12 emerging artists to be featured on the artist catalog Spring 2015 publication. He has participated in multiple nationally juried group exhibitions. Another artist we're going to be looking at is Emilio Ramos. And again, Emilio underscore Ramos is his Instagram uh, profile. Emilio Ramos captures his inner thoughts through bold, vivid expression. He draws influence from his surroundings by often using color palettes inspired by his encounters in life and foreign architecture. Emilio's intention as a self-taught artist born and raised in New York City is to continue allowing himself to naturally evolve while peeling back layer by layer in hopes of creating his idea of ultimate visual stimulation. Next, we have, actually, we're going to get, looks like, five artists. Next one is That's So Dope. Uh, Michael Lucky, known as That's So Dope, is a full-time artist of Los Angeles, out of Los Angeles, California, known for his colorful take in iconic cartoon characters and luxury brands. His medium goes far beyond the canvas often to life-size murals on walls, backpacks, and shoes. His passion for creating has made him an inspiration to many inspiring artists. Ryan Spar, uh, at hashtag, or at, uh, on Instagram, Old One Eye. Also gives you his website, www.blackshrine.com. Ryan Shar is an accomplished artist uh, in a variety of media, including marker, pen, and ink, oil, pastel, and photography. His work exhibits bold, expressive mark making and enjoys creating uh, ordered chaos. He lives in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where he's continuing his education in the arts. And finally, Andy Eveland. Instagram at... Uh, a eveland.com www.andeveland andyeveland.com Andy Evelyn is a pixel perfect designer. He has designed everything from food packaging and ski resort paraphernalia to cell phone skins and billboards. He has also designed UX UI for numerous websites and some great products, companies and people. Andy currently works as a product designer where he gets to uh, design apps and help pilots navigate the skies safely. Andy designs this month's Arbotic box packaging. There you go. 
We also have a several certificate of authenticities. One is for Happy Day in 2015 size, 11 by 14 acrylic on canvas. Also have a certificate of authenticity for Ryan Spars, Head Bone, also 2015, 11 by 14 marker on paper. So you want to hold on to the certificate of authenticity. That being said, let's actually get right into the box. And we are greeted to a lot of stuff. Let's first things first grab the larger of the items. We have a universal clip lens on the back. Universal clip lens can apply to iPhone, HTC, Samsung, uh, smartphone, and etc. It can be used on iPad, tablet, PC, and laptops, or anywhere you can imagine. There are a lens available, fisheye, macro, and wide-end lens. Macro lens can take clear photos of small objects. Wide-angle lens can shoot large range, a larger range of scenery. 180 degrees of the scene can be captured by fisheye lens, which can, which you can enjoy the which can let you enjoy the unreal world. Uh, to use this lens, enable you easily enjoy photography and find the instant beauty of the world. So included, you get a fisheye, a macro, and wide uh, angle lens. There's the contents right there. Very cool. I like that you can incorporate to an existing iPhone and not have to buy a super expensive camera, which Spot does not have money for. Univi universal uh, clip lenses. Put those to the side. We also get ourselves a pin from Emilio Ramos, Art Botic. We get a, kind of looks like a, a girl with a bandana over her face. It is a pin, so you can clip it onto your jacket. Jean jacket, anywhere, knapsack. And you know what? Let's go ahead. I want to just take this, I want to open this up here. It's adhered. A little bit of adhesive closing it. Don't worry, I will open this up. And as you can see, it is textured. And that's a that's a good solid heavy metal pin too. Like that. To the side. Looks like we also got ourselves a pair of glasses. Don't worry, Spot will review the oh that's a nice pair of glasses too. On the back, it says cheaters. A pair of sunglasses there. Very nice. We also have a couple of prints, which I guess are linked to the certificate of authenticities that were also included. The first one we've got is Mickey Mouse. And it looks like it's Mickey Mouse depicting the cat and the hat. Down below it says, happy day, it says the artist's name. It also says it's 50 out of 100 pieces. I like that. And I'm gonna just move this one just to the side. And let's have a look at the other one that we got. Oh, this one's got a skeleton, kind of a mosaic skeleton. This is also five out of, or 50 out of 100 pieces, complete with artist's signature down below. These are also on canvas too, good high quality paper. Gonna have to find frames for those. We also have ourselves a t-shirt. And let's open it up. And it looks like we've got perhaps like a Native American girl. Almost kind of looks like Tina Turner, too, and she's got a small uh, tomahawk axe with her. And down below we have the artist's signature. Now let's go ahead and look through the legend for the July 2015 box. We have the Gamma Ray Cheaters. We love our cheaters. These classic style sunglasses are versatile enough for the beach or cocktail party and at the price that is affordable enough to not have your day ruined if you lose them in the waves. Also gives you the price point on these. These glasses would be $11. The 3-in-1 clip-on smartphone camera lens are $8. 
Add some variety to your photos with three new lenses to mix things up. Designed to work on any smartphone, three interchangeable lenses clip right on and allow you to take wide angle, fisheye, and, and macro style photos. We have the Emilio Ramos limited edition uh, pink pin. Uh, what Emilio Ramos occasionally opens up limited quantities of collectible pins versions as his well-known artworks. They sell it within hours every time, so we thought it would be badass to include these, uh, to include one in this month's box. We also have the That's So Dope limited edition t-shirt. Uh, spice up the wardrobe. By the way, that, that was $18 for the pin. $25 for the t-shirt. Spice up your wardrobe with this sick t-shirt designed by That's So Dope. Screen printed 100 of these on 100% ring spun cotton, which makes this not only super exclusive, but super soft too. The autograph Happy Day print by Nicano Aquino, the seventh, which is retailed uh, $50. It's a limited edition run of 100 prints. This fun piece by Nicano uh, Aquino, the seventh, is from Cat in the Hat mashup series. The piece is a great representation of his emerging artist work where he taps into his audience deep-rooted childhood nostalgia. And finally, the autographed headbone print by Ryan Spar. It's also uh, worth $50 and has a limited run of $100. Ryan Spar's unique style on the Copic wide markers produces some of the most insane marker designs you'll see anywhere. So impressive, that the North American distributor of Copic Markers declared him a featured artist of 2015 and has made uh, and has him write featured tutorials for their website. If you guys are interested in having artist designed prints, t-shirts and more delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe to Art Botic subscription boxes. Today's subscription spot, we were having a look at the Art Botic July 2015 subscription box. It arrives every three months, so if you guys are interested in subscribing once again, click the link down below. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.